Hi everyone, how are you doing? I haven't been on in a while, so I just wanted to check in. Hi Chloe, aw, thanks for stopping by. Hi Dreaded, hi Coach Carolyn. Oh, hi Shakita. Hi Gripper01, okay. Hi, how are you guys? I just wanted to check in with you guys. I know everybody's watching football. <laughs> Oh, definitely, Chloe. Definitely. You always come to my scopes. I'm just happy I had a chance to catch you on one time. Hi, Dreaded. Hi, Coach Carolyn. How are you guys? I miss you guys so much, but good things have been happening for me, so it's been a good um, intermission, I, I guess. From Istanbul. Oh, I know someone from Ist um, Istanbul. <laughs> I can't say it right now, but I know someone from there, and she's uh, a big part of my family. No. <laughs> Not at all. Walk. Okay. Hi, Chloe. Thank you for inviting followers, Chloe. I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed your scope. I like that you um, gave out props to people and you did it so well and just let people know what's going on and they can just go and look somebody up and do something. Um, I love that you teach French. That's amazing. People can just tune in and Periscope is amazing. I just love this platform. So where's everybody from? You guys want to tell me where you're from? I'll tell you about me while you guys are putting that in. My name is Leah. I'm a life coach. I have a background. That was your first scope like that? You did good. You did good. You just got to be yourself and you are always enough. Always remember that. Florida in the house, right? Look, I was listening to Jamila before, so now I'm like, Florida in the house, let's steal her stuff. Germany, oh my gosh. Detroit, look at this. It just brings so many Massachusetts, Tussis, can't talk today. It just brings so many people together. Orlando, Florida. She got the, <laughs> all right then, represent. That's cool. I love Canada. I love how it, um, Apolis, that's right. I love how it brings people together. You know, no matter how far away you are, you could talk, you can see if you guys vibe, if you guys can work together. I am so in love with this platform. Is anyone new to Periscope? If you could just write up new to Periscope, AC, it's amazing. Periscope, yeah. It's amazing for your life in general. I always felt that people. Ah, Jamila's in the house. Did you just hear me? Someone, they, they put up where they were from. And I was like, Germany in the house. I was like, did I steal that from Jamila? But I told him I was listening to you. I jacked you. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gone. I was handling things. I was getting things together, but it's great things. I got a location, getting my office together, just, you know, getting my, um, my summit together and just making things work. So I just haven't been on. I apologize. I missed you guys to death though. But every time I jumped on, Jamila was on. Oh, Jamila, are you still there? This is a funny story, Jamila. I've been wanting to tell you. I just haven't been able to jump on. Are you on? Hard up, guys. Thank you. Okay, I, I miss you too, Jamila. Let me tell you. Okay, so the last scope I seen of you before, like I just started talking to you again, was... Um, Quitting your nine to five was was that it, or how do you know when to quit your nine to five? So I watched you do that. It was on like a very like you were on like a patio and like this beautiful setting, just chilling, working. I uh, loved it, and I I do that too. Like I I work in beautiful places. Like um, I have a, a beautiful office that I love and things like that. But I also have not a nine to five. Like I don't get down like that. <laughs> but I have another job which is my kind of like my stability so um which i love very much actually but when i watched you it made me realize that that season at uh, that job had passed now i didn't run out and quit my job like i kind of did like emotionally and mentally i mean i still get check <laughs> but i knew that that job was just a job and um to go ahead and step into my my purpose and what I'm doing, which is I would love to quit my regular job to do my business. Oh, you just got to don't quit it. I mean, be smart. Let's not let's not be hasty now unless you got a nice little savings account, you know. So, you know, definitely start putting a plan into action, you know, and think about your job as paying you to put your your dream into action. Yes, an exit strategy. That's my girl Jamila right there. And go and look at Jamila's catch for how do you know when to 
plan to talk about that on the future. How you know when you um, to quit your nine to five. It was very enlightening. It's very cool. And it's and like a lot of I know, right? Yep, exactly. Yep. Don't quit. Just get your exit plan together. And sorry, Leah, my phone is like dead. Aw, thank you so much, Chloe. I I appreciate you coming and checking me out. You always do. So I will check you out more. And I'm sorry I haven't been on support like a lot of people. I really do apologize. I was just I was trying to get me get me together. Jamila sent me on quit my nine to five. Uh, and then Jamila told me to get on today. I'm just Jamila, what else you got for me? <laughs> thank you, Chloe. I'll catch you um the next time you're on. Especially when you're doing some some French. I would need to learn some French. Be international up in here, you know? So I'm back on because Jamila told me to get on. And I, I mean, I, I don't just do what Jamila says. I just, every time I get on, Jamila's on. So I go and support her. And she's always telling me something to do. And I know she's right. So I'm like, let me get on back here. I know she's right. Let me get on and say hi and uh, connect with some people. Um, thank you for the green hearts. I really appreciate that love. I love, love, love. Um, so... We need you. Aww. We need you, Jamila. Your energy is contagious. Contagious, contagious, contagious. Yes. You know how to hold that screen and the audience and just run with it. So before we got into my story about Jamila inspiring my life and my life changes, which you did, Jamila. Thank you so very much. You, you know, I'm a... You know, I'm a go-getter type person anyway, but just I feel like things come to you when you need them and they're saying things to you and answering your questions and things like that. So every time I get on, you're on there and you always tell me something. You know, you don't ever just be like, hey, how you doing? You're always like, you need to do this. So, you know, and I know you'd be right. So I really appreciate your input. And I'm, I'm sure you do that for a lot of people, not just me. So you keep up what you're doing. We need you, you know. So... Before I put on, I wanted somebody to put up if you're new on Periscope. I have 23 people on right now. So I wanted to know if anybody was new to Periscope. Just because, um, oh, hearts to you, girl. Hearts to you, girl. You keep it up. You keep it up. Keep doing you and everything that you do. And I love seeing your family and your bits and just, just all of you. And you're the only person I get like a little message from Twitter whenever you're on. It like tells me. It's like, hey, Jamila's on. First day. Okay, DNKXP. All right. So I am not a Periscope expert, but I do do social media marketing. So I can always see like a different angle to things. <laughs> and so um, if you are new to Periscope and I can get like three to five new people to Periscope, I'll tell you a few Periscope tips. Otherwise, I'll just tell you a few social media tips in general. Because, I mean, if you're on Periscope, maybe you know them already and you don't want to be bored with that or anything. But if you're new to Periscope, I think it's a great platform and I would like to help you get followers and, you know, get a handle on what's going on. Hi, Gary. How are you? Thank you for joining us. I was trying to see if there's any new people to Periscope to see if I should do any um, Periscope tips or um, just social media tips in general. How long have you been doing this? I haven't been doing it very long, but like I said, I'm a social media um, consultant. So it's like, I can get in there and like, I went in, I went in hard, I, you know, I dove in and, you know, figured a few things out and then, you know, got out because Jamila told me to go quit my nine to five. <laughs> and then, um, made some things happen on this end and now I'm just back and and I, I there's still good tips I mean you're gonna have you know tips that are just tips especially for new people well for the person that was the first day okay go ahead Jamila thank you so much for the people that Periscope is your first day Periscope is like a, a broadcast you will get to be a journalist you get to go ahead and put out there whatever you think is great interesting funny educational um, whatever and it's great for branding you yeah, uh, it's a good. It's great for branding you as a as a, whatever you're doing. Whether you are a coach, whether you have a, a legit business or a product or a brand or just a different way of thinking, it just gets you out there to the people who are interested in what you're talking about. You know, and um, it's live, so it's very direct marketing. So that's a good thing. It's great direct marketing and right at that moment. It's who wants to know what you're talking about at that moment. And that's 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 your customer base, that's your clientele, that's your network. That's what you need. So Periscope is a big platform. You should do Periscope every single day. You should set up your um your position um before you start, drinks, everything. If you noticed before on my, on my first 
when you first came in, I had my business card. So on the replay, when someone just joins in and they just miss me or they I said something great, they don't have to watch the whole entire replay to get my information. They just go right to the replay and they have my website, they have my phone number, they have basically what I'm about. Off so I can um, show you how I did it. It's very simple. See, this is like a billboard right now. <laughs> See, look, this is my little billboard. So you just do that. Um, in the beginning, that's really good to do. Put your contact information up first, so people don't have to watch the whole replay. Now, um, the person that is new to Periscope, um, do you have a business? Do you need to create something like this, or do you just use it for a personal use? So, DNKXP, do you use it for personal or business? Hi, Mitchie B. Thank you for joining right now. I'm just giving a few social media consulting tips, you know, about your business, about your branding, anything. You're just getting started, but is it personal or business? Okay, so that's good. Gary, um, welcome, Gary. Welcome. So Para, um, Periscope is a great platform to connect with people. Hi, Quick, quick Flix. Thank you for joining. I have an Etsy store and I want to do YouTube. You should definitely do YouTube. Set it up just like um, the Home Shopping Network. Put, put it in your mind that YouTube is a production and you get there and you set it up just like it's the Home Shopping Network. It, do your homework, um, Google the Home Shopping Network or go to those channels that we don't usually go to on cable and look at how they work, how they set it up, how they light it and emulate it emulate it and um, if you have to show prices have it written down so you could just point the camera at it or just get like um, a little sign that you can lean something against and put the prices up there and your product and you show your product and you talk about it and you be sincere and and show them what you're about so a uh, Etsy star store would go far on here and um, the the first tip um, about your first day being on here, if it's your first time on here, whether it's business or personal, hi, Rich Black Man 21, like, thank you for joining. If it's your first time being on here, you got to think of Periscope as a broadcast system. Um, you are a journalist, you're a reporter, and you're going to report and um, give people um, what's cool, what's interesting, what's new, what's, what's happening, what's interesting about you, anything, hi, anything that you find um, interesting. And just utilize it that in that way. If you can respect a platform in its own entity, that it is an entity, it's almost like a whole little neighborhood or a community. <laughs> I, you can email me. I got a whole bunch of those. I'm just kind of rambling right now. So um, if you can give me any personal things about your business, I can also help you in that way because that's really where I shine because everyone knows that it's general. You can get the product in front of some people, you talk about it, and it gets out there. But the real genius is um, marketing you in your way. Uh, hi, Rich Blackman. Have you checked out your um, website? I did the first, um, the very first version of it. Did you check it out yet? Did you see it? I know he's watching games all day. I was going to text you. But I was like, I know he's watching games. Okay, very cool. It's the very first version. I did gold, black, and red, you know. Um, it's very simple from what, what you emailed me. And um, like I said, it wasn't going to be a super site, but we're going to elaborate. Thank you so much, Snake Cupcake. I um, hesitated on the purple because I didn't want to turn people off, but people seem to like it. So I love it, and I'm glad people are taking to it very well. Uh, rich black man 21 so uh, I am I am really sweet I'm very sincere I'm really genuine I really do help like helping people I like to help people because I'm just really good at solving issues and problems so I like brainstorming with people and just fix fixing their issues you know and helping them get through things that's what gives me life it gives me so much life and it brings so much great thing it brings so many great things to me as well because you gotta put good out there to get it back and that's so cliche but it really is and it's the thing about it is you can't just do nice things and be like oh nice things are gonna happen to me it doesn't work like that hi oh you're going right now uh, rich black man 21 i might have to stop and go support you but um rich black man does um double e podcast need to build a following but i'm kind of socially inept oh okay well being socially inept on these kind of platforms you're in control you you get to say um 
what you want, how you want it, do it your way. You know, so that is the great thing about these platforms. Only to people that don't understand it, Gary, he says that social media is seen in a negative light. It's actually not negative at all. It puts the power into the entrepreneur or the business person or the products um, person's hands and lets you do what you need to do. You can think of them in different ways. Um, YouTube is your your TV production. That is, that's your TV show. That's your that's your whole show. Think of it like a production and do it that way. And you get enough following and things like that. Um, you will make money because they they make money by um, advertising and marketing and things like that. So if you get a lot of people on there and they think that, uh, you know, you have an average of 300 people that come on, it's not going to be as low as 300 people, but you have an average of a certain amount of people, they want their product to be seen like that. So um, they advertise on you. So the, the bigger following you can get on there and you'll start to make uh, money from views if you get enough so definitely um, do YouTube and being socially inept this is the greatest thing because you have the power you have the power this one is live so your mistakes are gonna be seen or whatever but you know your mistakes are just you talking to someone if I stutter it doesn't matter did you really remember that I stuttered a few minutes ago did you remember that I didn't say the word right or I said ah, I didn't know what it was no we're having a conversation so this kind of makes this live just a little bit less scary it seems scary when you're first getting on but it's less scary hi baseball freak 70 how are you um, it seems scary when you get on but it's really not scary because so much is acceptable with live broadcasting everything's acceptable if I fell off this chair right now it'd be acceptable it'd be fine and you know oh I'm doing well I'm doing well I'm just hopping on checking in with Periscope seeing what everybody's doing right now I'm just giving tips about Periscope to someone that's new I am Lane Raymond, absolutely. Oh, okay. Thank you for agreeing with me. It's nice to meet you. I don't think I've seen you. Excellent advice. You rocking the hair looks good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you were on before. I had a lot of hesitation with the hair because I didn't want to turn people off. I'm a life coach and I didn't want to lose clients. I didn't want to not be able to help people because my hair was you know, different. But I became a life coach because I like to do things my way and walk to the beat of my own drum. So I so it did it made sense to go with it and it's got a great response I really 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 love like the response that has gotten from people hi Janelle how are you so um, we were just doing little f basic uh, I try to be so sincere I really do good look by Russell Simmons do you good book by Russell Simmons do you do you yeah you always got to do you I'm gonna check that out now the hair is cool thank you and you're doing ah thank you Mo I will check out that book by Russell Simmons he ha he definitely has knowledge to to spread and um, I haven't gotten into him like I probably should I he is someone that I haven't read anything that he really puts out and that's, that's a little bad. I should do that so that's gonna be my first one do you and that's always like one of my biggest advice to people you got to do you and doing you is enough it's always enough if you're just you and you just do it it's it's more than enough actually more than enough so rich black man is back hi so he does a, a a podcast and he doesn't do a podcast for money or anything he does a podcast to leave a legacy for his family just he just wanted to leave him part of him out there and he's included them in it so he does um, live periscopes on Tuesdays and he brings new music you keep getting knocked off that's okay are you going on tonight keep coming back <laughs> um and he does an NFL recap on Wednesdays, and he's a Steelers fan. So I don't know what kind of fans I have out there um, for as far as football, but he's a Steelers fan, and he is serious about it, so serious about it. Like I have to like look and see if there's a Steelers game on before I call him. Does it ever scare you to find people actually like you? I kind of understand the question. I don't, let me see if I understand the question. Does it scare me when I come across people that are like me, or energetic and like like me? <laughs> Is that like like the kind of question? Like, am I a little much, and it scares people, or am I a good person, and then it scares me that I come across a good person? I don't know. I need clarification. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
but double e podcast so i thought that that was very interesting that he does this for his family to leave a legacy and just leave a part of him you know the internet's forever so he does a podcast on soundcloud it's called double e podcast he's also at double e production.com and um if you want to check him out on periscope he does a live one every tuesday he's thinking about going on tonight know to find that they really like what you do oh oh you really like what i do and it does it scare me? Oh, <laughs> my little stand fell. No, it doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare me at all. I, I appreciate it. I I hope that I can do good. Do you have a Twitter account? I do have a Twitter account, my Twitter account. So also another tip for Periscope is to have all your accounts in one place so you can just kind of show it. So I have this um, page in my little Periscope notebook that I always use for Periscope. And it has all of my stuff on it. So that's really quick for me to do. You can also have a, a partner or a friend that goes in when you do it. My fear is they will think I look as bad as I think I look. Okay, I will, I will touch on that. Okay, so that's my Instagram up there. That's my website. That's my email. You're on my Periscope. I also have Catch Me, Catch.me, which everybody on here should go and make an account at Catch.me. Um, where's my Twitter? There's, oh, there's my Twitter name. So the person that asked for my Twitter name, it is my Periscope name, Life Coach Leah. You want to try and have all your names be exactly the same, but the thing is that some of them have different, um, how far they'll let you go or how many letters they'll let you have or what names are taken. So for Periscope and Twitter, I had to change it up a little bit with Life Coach Leah. And, but everywhere else, I'm, I'm basically Leah the Life Coach. If I could have it, I took it. Okay. So that was another tip. Um, simply write on a piece of paper. You don't have a business card like I did in the beginning. Who cares? Who cares? Start with what you have. Start where you are and just, just move forward. Write it down. Write it down nice and clear. You know, I had a bit much on that page just because that's just my little go-to page. You know, I could put everything out there at one time. You know, write it down with a big piece of paper. White paper. Write it down. And you can write it. Okay, so when I was showing you guys my Twitter handle and just giving you a little tip about Periscope, DN, I don't know if it's DNKX, he said he's afraid that people will um, not like what he looks like. And they'll think that he looks as bad as he thinks he looks. So there's, there's a lot to that question. So I'll go to the lighter part of that um, people are going to judge you regardless. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So it, you're going to have people that don't like your look and do like your look. That's just point blank. That's okay. It doesn't matter because looks isn't what's important. Deliver a quality, deliver quality content. They will come back. Okay. Regardless, because um, if you have content and it's not for them to date you, they don't really care what you look like, you know, so put out good content and they'll keep coming, you know, so that's the lighter part of it. The, the heavy part of that, that, that statement was that look as bad as you think you look, you have to find the beauty within you. Because that shines through you. You have to look in that mirror and be okay with everything that you don't see as great or perfect. Because, you know, you have to really understand that the beauty is an eye of the beholder. And to understand that, it is that not one thing is beautiful. Not one shaped nose is beautiful. Not one shaped body is beautiful across the board. So that cannot be the full definition of that. So what you uh, may see is not um, acceptable, uh, may be um, great to someone else. And, and, it, and most importantly, it needs to be great to you. you it, or at least you need to be okay with it. And if you're not okay with it, and it's something that you can work on, self-confidence is a must. Yes, you must have self-confidence. But you can also work on it. And everything's scary at first. You know, when you move to a new neighborhood, you go to a new school, you go to a neighborhood that you haven't been. It's scary the first time. Um, you don't, it's unfamiliar and your, your feelings and your body and your mind are set up to protect you. So the unknown is, is danger because the body, the mind wants to take care of you. So the unknown is not, they're not able to take care of you. So they send out the alarm which is good because you you need to pay attention to new surroundings. I have no idea what that, that says, Vania. Vania Vincent, Boa, 
no idea. I, I don't understand, but it looks cool. <laughs> I think I want to put on a tank top or something. <laughs> um, tell me what that means. Uh, Brazil. Yay, Brazil. Yes, I love Brazil. I've never been there. I just love it. I love everything, actually, but I love Brazil. And um, it's my guy still there that did not like how he looked. Real? If I, nice. That is the life. That is the life. Oh, oh, you're welcome. Um, you still got to find, you know, yourself. And you just got to get on here. That egg's not going to work. Get rid of the egg and put the picture up. I guarantee you, you're not going to have anybody be on there like saying you're ugly. They can't, they're not even going to just talk to you like that. You know, people, when you meet people, do you go up to people and say you're ugly? I don't like you. I don't like how you look. No, 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 no. But you do need to work on your self-confidence and be able to look in the mirror at yourself, you know, and with pride. I remember a couple of years ago, um, I had taken a picture and I didn't recognize myself in the picture. And I, I felt so lost. So for a year, I started to take a, a selfie. I know selfies kind of narcissistic, but it, I was actually doing a, a therapy. I was actually doing, you know, a, a situation. So I did the selfies and I would look at the selfies. And at first I did criticize them and I did hate how I look. And I was like, how did I even get here? What is going on? I don't even look like me. I don't feel like me. I don't look like me. But as the picture started to go on, I started to look at things that, you know, maybe I wasn't comfortable with. So I started to kind of, you know, tweak it to how I wanted to tweak it. And, um, I started to like the pictures. I could, you know, I started to like what I saw in the pictures. And it, and it wasn't to change me into what people thought I should look like. It was me. I wanted to, like, create my look. And then this is this how it came out. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, Miss Tanisha. Sorry I haven't been able to um, welcome everybody that comes on. I really thank everybody for stopping by and joining me on this. It started with Periscope tips and then it went into confidence tips. You don't speak English? I know. Aw, I'm glad you take it in. I, you know, you can hit me up at, at any time I, I, if you got my email. My card's in the, in the beginning. You know, send me an email. You know, we can definitely exchange some ideas, get you going. I would like to see that egg changed, and I'd like to see a broadcast from you sometime soon. Pick your best picture and, and do it. Pick your best picture and do it. I'm following you. I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be watching you. So pick your best picture, put it up there. First step. Second step, turn the broadcasting on. Put it on something you like and tell us about it. Don't even put your face on there yet, okay? And um, in the title, put exactly what you're doing, you know, so if you're going to be doing something that's not exactly exciting, you won't get on and have people, you know, I don't speak Portuguese, Van Vanilla. I'm so sorry. I would love to talk to you, though. I'm sorry. But thank you for coming and um, putting your title very simply what you're doing. If you're not doing anything that's going to be like exciting for people to come on to, um, just put like simply, I'm going to be showing you a flower. <laughs> put the camera on the flower. Talk about the flower. It's yellow. It's pretty. God, life is beautiful. All kind of things like that, you know. And just so you can get comfortable with the app and you know how it works. It's a delay when you want to stop. I don't speak Portuguese. I'm sorry. Hi, General Jack 11. Um, just so you can get comfortable with Periscope and the app. And then, you know, try and turn it on yourself. When you turn it on yourself, you can hold it. You can put it on a, a little mini um, stand, um, tripod, yes. <laughs> or just put it on, lean it against something. So until you feel comfortable to do that. But though, that can come in steps, but I will be looking for at least a picture and no egg. Some people will block if you just have an egg, you know? So put a picture up and I promise you, you're, you're not, you're not going to get what you think. You're not going to get the reaction you think you're going to get, you know? Nobody's going to just step out of their, the zone, the step in your zone to be rude to you. And especially not on Periscope. I call Periscope the, the nice people app. People are very nice on Peris Periscope. You know, they, they want to support. They want to show love. You know, all the hearts. That's what all the hearts are for, showing love, you know. So it's a very friendly app. So don't be afraid, and I hope to see you around. I followed you. I hope to see you around Periscope, and I hope that you build up your confidence to whatever level is comfortable for you and great for you. And I hope you skyrocket. Anybody else on here going through anything or want to talk about anything? Who's here? Let's see. Can I see you guys? 
Yeah. Hi, Tanisha. You still here? Mo, you know, you still here? David, Kale Kayla, 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 you've been quiet. Look, don't call people out. Call people out. <laughs> I will. Maybe you can use it for Halloween. Thanks. So what's, how's everybody's day? Hi, I'm glad you said something. Hey girl, how you doing? What are you using Periscope for, personal or business? Everybody, what do you use Periscope for, personal or business? Yes, I may have to catch the replay to catch up. We were just talking about, he was new to Periscope, and I just gave him a few little tips that I thought of as I was doing it. He was appreciative of it, and then he also went into having fear of being on the camera because he didn't like, he thought people were not going to like how he looked, and secondly, he didn't like how he looked. <laughs> so I just touched on that briefly and gave him a few Periscope tips. It wasn't too much on um, there. You want any Periscope tips or anything? I do social media marketing, so... Anyone want to ask me questions about social media? I'm doing great personal, but I'm getting some great business tips for future business. Great. You got to be an entrepreneur and start your own thing. That's, that's, ooh, that's like, that's like so important right now for 2015. And, um, um, personal is a little fun business for me. I also want my clients to get to know me. What kind of business do you do, Tanisha? It's great for people getting to know you. Great, great, great for people getting to know you. Because it's safe, you know, and people are friendly on here first, you know, so, you know, in real life, people can be unfriendly. It's hot. They're having a bad day, you know, but you jump on Periscope, you're kind of friendly already. So it's great networking right there. Love the networking opportunities. Yes, I love the networking opportunities as well. Confidence coaching and photography. So do you do photography or do you coach people on how to do great photography? That's confidence coaching is a big one because self-worth is at the center of everything. It's at the center of everything. Nobody's living to their full potential because they don't have any self-worth. you got to find your self-worth so you can shine as bright as you need to shine. So I think I salute you for that confidence coaching. Thank you. It is so needed. So, so, so needed. Hi, Riss VX. Hi. How are you? I missed you. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. I got every time I get on, the only person that I knew was Jamila. And I always get on and she tells me what to do. I know. I've been taking care of business. I got off and I, you know, I I told the story at, at the beginning that every time I get on, Jamila's the only person on that I know. So I go to her scopes and she always tells me something to do. <laughs> so she 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 was doing a periscope about quitting your nine to five. And I didn't exactly quit my nine to five. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Did you hear me about my selfies for a year? I'll, I'll get to that. You got to take notes in Periscope. So many interesting people, so many interesting conversations. And uh, she told me to quit my nine five and I didn't quit it. Jamila, I didn't quit it, but I kind of mentally quit it and I just went on with my thing and I just kind of built my little thing outside. So that's what I've been doing. So it's been a good intermission. So I've been doing things, Rissa VX and doing great things. So, but I'm glad to be back here and I did miss you so much. I've, I've been thinking about you very much. Um, the photog with the people with the, um, um, confidence about their body issues and things like that. Yes, yes, yes. Cause I told a, a story, like I, I saw a picture of me one time and didn't recognize myself. And I, I didn't like what I saw and I didn't, I didn't recognize myself. Can you imagine looking at a picture and not recognizing yourself? So I took a selfie every day for a year and it wasn't to be vain. It was to, I wanted to see what other people saw. And as the time went on, it was, it seemed, it proved very good. I started to be able to create what I wanted to look like. Ah, thank you for checking in, Rissa. I'll check in with you um, soon. I'm, I'll be back on more regularly, try, cause you know I got things together, so I'll try and check back in more regularly. All right, have a good day or night wherever you are. But yes, people with body issues and just self worth. Oh, you're doing such a great thing. You're doing God's work. It is very eye opening. How long did you do it for? Because mm, I think you'd have to do it for quite a long time, and they, they, you know, have to do it. Every, every day they have to do quite a few of them. I did it for a year and it was life changing. It, it was definitely life changing and eye opening. So what is your kind of selfie challenge? What do you do? I love that. Love, love, love that. She's typing right now. 30 days on Facebook. Oh, that's huge, Tanisha. Oh my God. 
with friends still that's pretty huge oh okay okay that's that, that's good that'll get them out their comf comfort zone fast you know so that probably works really quickly yeah that's good though you know you gotta move it's time is of the essence yes i know because that would have been hard for me my first 30 on facebook because i don't think i'd show you my first six months I, I don't think i would ever publish my first six months i don't even think i could pick out one good selfie of the day and give you for the first six months no it was not, it's not happening not happening but now i'm so past that and it's um i'm happy with me very vulnerable thing to do it is it is people don't realize it really really is so i i applaud you tonisha is great anybody needs some confidence dnx i didn't know the last ones you should check out miss tonisha here some days you have themes. Oh, that's cool. I learned that too because I went to a selfie booth and that you they have the hats, the scarves, the sunglasses and things like that. And that was way easier. <laughs> that was so much fun. So, I mean, even a little kit like that, you know, to have for your meetings, that that is really cool. I think that's great. That really puts people at ease, you know. So, yeah. I, I applaud you. I like your I like your your methods and what you're doing. I will definitely be checking you out. Everybody on here, I will definitely follow you all. I will check your replays. I will give you thousands and thousands of hearts whenever I get a chance. Um, people, if there's anyone out here that knows me from before, because I took a break and now I'm back, <laughs> that knows me from before, they can vouch for me. I really, really, really do. Les Brown, love him. I'm not related to Les Brown. I'm not. Um, but I love him too. I love him too. Hi, Kaylee West. Do you use Periscope for personal or business? We we're talking about Periscope tips, just how to use it, what kind of platform it is, what we do. We're talking about any and everything right now. Hello. Hello. I like how you set it all along like that. Personal for now. Very cool. It's a good way to meet people. Oh, good. Look, look. I know. Scary, right? You got to do it, DNK. You got to do it. I got to call you DNK because I can't ever remember the XP part at the end. I'm camera shy, struggling with Periscope. <gasps> Tanisha, you are the confidence counselor <laughs> and the photog. No, you absolutely need to get on. I am going to, I think I'm going to bug you all the time until you get on and do a broadcast. <laughs> you, oh yeah, you need to do broadcast. Let me look, let me check you out now. I was going to wait until after I was done with all this to go check you guys out. I'm checking Tanisha out. She should have some broadcast on here. Oh. No recent broadcast. I'm following you already, but no recent broadcast. Oh, you got to get over that. Like I said to um, DNK, um, put it on something else then. Play some music in the background. Put it on something else. Oh, thank you, Crystal B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a hard journey to decide to do it. Glad I did. I love, like, how people are taken to it. I can appreciate that. Very, very, very much. But Tanisha, yeah, put it on something else. Who cares? Who cares? Get your voice out there. After a while, you're going to be so tired. Overdone. What's overdone? My hair? <laughs> you talking mess? Oh. <laughs> oh, typo. Okay. No problem. I'm the D and the DN. Oh, so are you like David? Hi, David. Very nice to meet you. Very, very, very nice to meet you. I can't wait to see you. So... I think you should jump off and go put a picture right now and come on back on and show your, 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 you have three scopes. Are, are you on catch, Tanisha? D, David, I think you should go put a picture up right now. I think you should pick one and jump back on with a picture. It'll be done. You will be back, Tanisha? Okay. I think you should put a picture up right now. David, 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 David. David, 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 picture, 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 picture. And we always make things worse than they are. You all, oh, pleasure's all mine. No, David, don't be pleasure all of mine. Go get, go get your picture. Don't weasel out. Go, go get a picture and put it up. Anything. It, your favorite picture from a kid, teenager, you know, the best you ever thought you looked. Put that one up. Do it. I swear, Periscope is the one place you can do it just for Halloween. That is ridiculous. And I don't even accept that answer, David. That is ridiculous. Just for Halloween. Do not do that. You are beautiful. Everybody on this planet is beautiful. Hey, snakes. Thanks for coming back. David is over here making me mad because he's like, he's only going to put a picture up of himself for Halloween. I do not like take self-pity and all that. You, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. 
Do it, David. Do it. See, Snake says, do it too. Who cares? Do it. It's okay. It's going to be fine. And you got to live. You're not here to live in a hole, to be embarrassed. Hey, Scuffy Man. No, not Scuffy Man. Scuffy King Man. I just took out the king. Can't take out the king. Hey, how you doing? We were trying to convince the, one of the people on here, David, to put up a picture because he has an egg for a picture and he thinks he doesn't, he's not very attractive and um, he can only put the picture up for Halloween. And I'm trying to convince him that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And on here, this is a very nice kind of a platform, especially to do things that are scary like that. You know, it's all love. And, and, oh, and David. You know what? When it's not all love, you could just click on their little not all love comment and you can block them. What? Shouldn't life be like that? Hi, official Miss AR. How you doing? We're over here talking about all kinds of things. Periscope, self-worth, looks, beauty, marketing, social media marketing, life, all kind of stuff. What's going on in everybody's world out there? I also had a, a confidence photo coach that doesn't want to do a scope. I was scared of my pick too because other girls online are mean. But so far, nothing terrible. Has happened. Yeah, no, nothing at all. It's such a nice app. I am on catch. They are awful. I'm going to take my time with Periscope. Oh, Periscope is so forgiving. It's so forgiving. It's live. You know, my 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 little tripod has fell like eight times while we're doing this. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I was rambling a lot. Yeah, that happens. Get your notebook and get a, a notebook and try to stay, like, make some little bullet points of what you want to stay on. And then if you stray from your bullet points, that's what you were supposed to say. Somebody needs to hear what you had to say. And that's why you were rambling. So don't, don't even worry about it. You put it out there. Yes, notebook works. Yes, definitely. And, and I say notebook because it continues, you know, you can utilize that again. You can go back to it. You can you can jump right back into the mold, you know, because it's not hard to set up for Periscope. You're thinking about, oh, my God, I got to do this. I got to do the, what you should do. You know, you should take a little time, do your lighting, frame up your your frame, what's going to be seen, you know, clean up whatever you're going to be in, stuff like that. Have your drinks and your food. Oh, yeah, definitely take notes because you want to take also want to take notes about um, yeah, notes always work. You also want to take notes about who, who is great, who you're speaking to, write their names down and things like that. Um, and just, I don't, I would be lost without my notebooks, you know, and it's just so simple. And just, I just go right back to it. I'm obsessing about camera angle and lighting. That's okay. Do that before you turn it on. Put it on your, your camera. Because, you know, once you push broadcast, you are live. So put, set yourself up, set your little area up, and then put your video camera on facing you. It's not the exact lighting or even framing, but it lets you know what you look like and what people are going to see before you're just on. Yeah, troubleshoot. Also, put your phone on um, Do Not Disturb. Yeah, definitely use Periscope every day. Every, every, every day. Every day you should use Periscope. I haven't been using Periscope every day, but you should use Periscope every day. Today, right? You, it says, you're making me want to record one day. LOL. No, 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 Snake. You ha you haven't done one either? Oh, all these Periscope people. I need you. I need you all to Periscope today and tonight. I promise you, I will get on live with you and support you and give you hearts. Or I will catch your replay no, you get your followers by broadcasting, Crystal B. You're not going to get any followers by trying to get some followers. I will give you hearts on your replay, at least a thousand. Every last one of you, everybody that's on this scope right now, you do a scope today. I will either be there live on your scope or I will do your replay and give you a thousand hearts. And this is going to be good for people that only have one heart. You know, you'll have a thousand hearts right out the door. Okay. And don't act, don't think I'm playing. Don't think I'm playing. There's nobody on here that knows me. But I'm like the heart queen. I'm the love heart queen. Well, who has purple hearts blending in with my hair? Blending in with my hair. Who has purple hearts? Stand up. Oh, green, green hearts, brown hearts. Oh, and let's make a rainbow. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for the hearts. Everybody that's on here, I will support. I will give hearts at least a thousand. Um, and it will be no skin off my back. It, I, I encourage you to do a scope. Please, please. 
please. It's empowering. Um, it's easier than you think. And once you get on, you're not going to shut up. Like this scope is way too long. Virtual love. Hey, virtual love. And that's the easiest thing to do. Go ahead and show some virtual love, especially on here. This is such a friendly platform. I got all of you. I'm, I'm looking at your names right now. I'm going to watch my replay. I got all of you. Oh, Miss Tanisha, no, you didn't invite some followers. I think that's my, no, that's not my first invite followers, but thank you so much, Tanisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I want you guys to do a scope. It's not as hard as it looks, and don't make it a big issue even. Lighting is important. Setting up framing is important, but it's not as important as actually getting on and just doing it and feeling comfortable. Start out however you want to start. You can erase it. Um... If you're already on catch.me, um, you can make the broadcast private. Just invite me. You know, let's do that. You can get on there, make the broadcast private. Just invite me or whoever you trust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely helps them speak. And there's a lot of um, speakers on here. Oh, I'm inspired by you. You well, look at us inspiring each other then. I don't know you, but you're genuinely so darn sweet. And <laughs> cutie pie. Cutie pie. <laughs> Look, I skipped over the sweet part. No, I'm just like, <laughs> no, I, I, I do try to be sweet. And I am very, very, very genuine. I'm very, like, motivated and happy to help people. I love people. I, my mission is to be so rich, never have to worry about money, only people. And only to help people. I, I never want to worry about money. I just want to worry about helping people because that's what I like doing. That's what I want to do. So that's my mission right now. I'm on my grind. I'm in Toastmasters as well. Scoping will help. You're in Toastmasters? I want to do Toastmasters. Hi, Social Butterflies. How are you? Um, I've been looking for a Toastmasters group in my neighborhood. So, you know, that's that's probably why we're talking, Tanisha, because, you know, you never know what you're inspiring someone to do. You know, you just got to speak. So your ramblings probably did a lot for somebody that needed to hear that at that time. You know, as long as you being you and doing what you want to do and doing it how you need to do it and you're not hurting anyone else, do it to your fullest capability and you will be on the path that you're supposed to be on. You'll talk to who you need to talk to. You'll see who you need to see. You'll do what you need to do say what you need to say and hear what you need to hear so never like doubt what you're doing Tanisha I think that you're doing a great job I'm so impressed you know because you are actually the key to everything confidence and self-worth in people it's what's making things not right today because no one's doing their job to their full capability. No one's putting their all in anything. And that trickles down. People say you're responsible for your life. And that is to uh, an extent. I started my business podcast three weeks ago. Very refreshing. And so, right? 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 And then once you get your people, it'll just be, you got to respect all of the platforms like it's a community. It's, it's your click. That's your click. You, you go, yeah, when your first day of school, it's scary. You sit by yourself. Yes, definitely join that Toastmasters group. Uh, we should all do it. I'm going to hold you accountable. You hold me accountable. And A, how do you say your name? A, Deanna? You should put up a picture. You should put up a picture so you know you're not just an egg, an egghead. Scope gang. I like that. That's cute. Um, so, you know, your, your click is just who your friends are. So one-on-one -on -one and in person I'm good until I hit broadcast button. Like I said, put it on something else. Put it on your card. Put it on your website. <laughs> Click through your website, put your, you know, put up one of those little things, you know, that scans on your, if you have a website, those little pictures that like go through and they just kind of take a second to go through, set your little tripod up, put it on your website, put the pictures up in there that you want to be seen and be done and let that be seen. And you still talk, you talk, even set up like a, a presentation board. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, get in there on your, your notepad. Slideshow, a good idea. Oh, thank you. I have lots of them, guys. I come up with them all the time. I think differently about marketing. And I'm not to toot my own horn. I'm just letting you know. Like, I could definitely help people with their businesses. I can definitely help you with your brand. I can definitely help you with your product. And it's going to be personal. And it needs to be personal. And it needs to be customized. And that's why, that's what social media is lacking. You can't take a broad marketing um, thing and then put it across them, like, just cross the board. You have to take who you are, what you are, and you have to put it into the platform. And each platform has you in a different way, you know? Like sometimes you're the fun flirty, sometimes you gotta be serious in business, sometimes you gotta be, oh, am I speaking the truth? Hey, look at me, speaking the truth. Thank you for that, thank you for that. Let me know like I'm, I'm like someone's listening. I really appreciate that. Um, so, um, leahthelifecoach.com, yep, that's me. 
So social butterflies is um uh, is a, a real personal in my life. So um, they knew I was coming on. So um, that's a Periscope tip. If you can have a partner in Periscope, get a partner. Know when each other are going on to because you can't write like you can't write. So she she's putting up Leah the life coach for me. I appreciate that. And she's probably giving me those little hearts to, you know, just keep the energy going and things like that. So definitely have somebody like that so they can keep you going. Hi, DNK. Um, you just joined, but someone just put like Leah the life coach up dot com showing it for me and I was just explaining to everybody that that's a personal person of mine like I know that person so they knew I was going to be on so they came on and did that for me so I was saying you know when you're doing your first periscopes have a partner that you trust you, you know so you can just be talking to that friend for a minute you know until every, somebody else jumps in you know and um <clears throat> And you can do little things like that. You can even have a second um, device and do it yourself. You know, um, that's very smart to have a second device to do it yourself or have a partner to play off you and do things with you, you know, just to, you know, make the room go when it's not going, you know, because you do have to carry it, you know. Um, so that's what I was saying, the David. Um, what do hearts do? Hearts don't do anything but kind of give you a little uh, motivation, but hearts also do let your, your scopes be brought up so people can see it more. You know how you go to that first screen when you come on Periscope? <gasps> Love it, David. Hi, David, David, David. I'm so freaking proud of you. So freaking proud of you. You are not Ugly, Halloween, any other thing that I'm so freaking proud of you. So, so freaking proud of you. You know, so free. See, David, you're not ugly. You're not anything. You're just a, it's, you're just not into primping in the hair and being a metrosexual and doing it what, how other people said it should be done. You do it your way. You're manly gruff. Look, love it. Manly gruff is beautiful to certain people. So like, you gotta own you. You are what you are. I can't even see you because I'm I'm staring at your picture talking in your eyes right now, David. So I can't even see these comments on here. But I appreciate everybody with the comments. Go, David. Thank you, everybody. Please support David. Let him know that that picture does not make anyone flinch and, like with anybody else's picture. It does nothing, David, except for let me see who I'm talking to. You know, you are fine. It's fine, okay? Totally, totally, totally fine. And... You look normal, right? I was expecting something that was like, you know, like an accident or something like that because I know that that could be hard, but I knew Periscope was going to be even be nice to that, you know, but he's, I bet you, you was something else back in the day, David. Shoot, don't get me started. Go ahead, David. David, shoot. David, I'm so freaking proud of you. You go ahead. Aw, thank you for showing him some love, official um, Miss A.R., Thank you, thank you. I think it's so awesome that you put that up, David. And you're not even 5% of what I thought I was going to see and still was going to think it was beautiful. You know, there are people that are going to criticize you and put you down. And that's where Tanisha needs to come in because that's people's self-worth, making them treat other people the way that they feel. You know, hurt people hurt people. It, it took me a while to really understand that. Hurt people hurt people. I was like... Whatever, you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you back. Shoot, don't hurt me. Yeah, but hurt people hurt people. People don't deal with their pain. They don't deal with their 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 issues and their problems. And it bleeds out to everybody else. And you're gonna find people that do that, that just put you down to, aw, oh, thank you, Crystal B, for the support, that just put you down because they're not feeling 100. And and that's going to be okay because you don't, you're not, you don't even get mad at them. Once you know it's because they feel less than about themselves, it, it, just like you do, you're kind of the same click and support each other. Yeah. So, Miss Tanisha, you're doing a marvelous thing because exactly what David was afraid of, what was holding him back is self-worth, is confidence, is, is um, self-image issues, you know? And you've literally seen that, man. I bet it's... He's fine. I love gray hair. Oh, David. So you, some people may think happiness in, in life is just in the way that you think. You think, not the world, not what was put on to be beautiful or sexy or handsome. Thank you, social butterflies. Not to be what you thought was um, 
not what they think and not what was told to you or, or showed to you what was handsome and great because what was showed to you what was handsome, beautiful, and great is what they thought was handsome, beautiful, and great. So you have to look in the mirror and you have to say what's beautiful, handsome, and great. And I guarantee when you really look at you, yeah, people will always have something to say no matter what you look like. No matter. People talk about Beyonce. <laughs> people talk about, you know, the most beautiful woman in the world or the most handsome guy in the world. There's some people that's going to look at them like, ugh. You know, it's all about perspective. Life, period, is about perspective. Even the most pretty, beautiful gurus on YouTube have the meanest comments. Oh, of course, because people are not, they're not feeling right within themselves, which are all Tanisha's clients. <laughs> and, um, they're not feeling right within themselves. So yeah, it's just going to be across the board. My message is strong and connection is important to me. Oh, very strong. And connection is key. You know, they can't trust you. If you guys aren't vibing, if they don't think you know what you're talking about, they're not going to listen to you. And you're just running your mouth and taking their money, you know, which sometimes you got to go through that a little bit until they, they get to the point. Ha! I could be a silver fox. I like that. Tasha, you should change your name to Silver Fox. <laughs> to each his own. Everyone has a preference. Some like apples, others like oranges. That's why there's no true definition for beauty. Because beauty is from the, the, the person's perspective. So when we say like a little nose is beautiful, you know, somebody might like my little widespread honker. They, you know, might think my nose is a cute button nose, but other people knows they want it to go down or they want it to be little or they want it to be pointy. Who cares? You know, it's, it's in, a, in the eye. doesn't make one better than the other. Sure doesn't. And, you, and beauty is in all of it. Beauty is in everything. So what you're looking at and you're denying the beauty, know that you're denying the beauty. And it's not true that the beauty's not there. It's that you're denying it. And uh, the beauty is there. You're just denying it. And so is the person that, you know, maybe saying something from, you know, from their low self-esteem and not having their confidence, you know. So Tanisha, back to you, because I feel like you're just like on the edge. You're about to like jump out and change the world, but you're just kind of like a little restrained back. Um, you can do um, private Periscope meetings on here, and you can do YouTube, and you should. And the picture that I see of you, Tanisha, is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you know what you're saying and you have a good message to put across, um, I think the sky's the limit for you. As a photographer, certified professional coach, and creative artist, I empower women entrepreneurs to accomplish goals and improve, improve their image. I love it. So I love that. So I can't see comments right now just because I have her her profile pulled up because I wanted to see her and I love your natural hair I love the hair color I love that black shirt you have on I love the look that you have Miss Tanisha I am with it so I think you're gonna be phenomenal once you get on and do your broadcast because you look like a news anchor you look like a, a broadcast journalist and I you look like somebody I would take information from and if your message is strong and connection is key you have that is a recipe for success you just got to get on scoping is my number one priority let's go let's do it invite me please please invite me and i will give you hearts i will support oh another thing that i think is a good tip nobody does it i'm so mad nobody does it i tell people to do it all the time they don't do it I follow you already, David. You got to follow me. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I hope you, uh, I wish you the best of luck and I hope I see you around here all the time. Please check back, check back. It's a fun app. You see a lot, you learn a lot, you meet a lot of people and it's great. And you're very handsome. Don't get it twisted. Um, what people, what, what makes me mad that people don't do? <laughs> I tell people, buy silver fox. Yes, I love it. Thank you, Snake. You're such a, a good person. You will be, you will restart scoping on Tuesdays. Okay, I'll be looking for you Tuesday. I will look for you Tuesday, definitely. Um, I, what I think people should do is in their bio, put the next time they're going to be scoping. You know, and thanks, WOG, for sharing. Queen Pam 777. I don't know what WOG is. Ooh, did I miss something? My bad. Um, they put what time you're going to be scoping next. You put like, and, and because this is such an international kind of thing, put your time zone, Pacific Standard, whatever it is. Um, put what time you're going to be back on in the bio, you know. Woman of God. Oh, you definitely. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
I'm I was behind. I thought I'd miss something. Thank you so very much, Queen and um, you guys. Um, I was saying, put your next time that you're going to be on. So, Tanisha, if you're going to be on Tuesday, perfect, perfect. You're over um, ready, you know. So go on and dive in. Um, get some support if you have anybody on here. Instagram. Am I on Instagram? Do I have tips for Instagram? What about Instagram? Hey, David. Look, you can't stay away, huh? Because she called you Silver Fox, huh? Oh, you had a typo, Miss Tonisha. So um, you can, if it's if it's enough space, you can put what it's about. But really, you you don't need to. You can if you're gonna do it every Tuesday at at, at ten. Say next podcast. Well, you know, semicolon. I have a template for Instagram. Great. That's that's real good. Uh, I'm gonna check you out on Instagram. Um, how often? You should scope every day and whenever the mood strikes you. If you're scoping four times a day, that's fine. That's fine. Because you got to remember, this is live. This is live. So you can't put this out here and think for it to go too far. It's a, uh, so think of it as like a little, a little periscope bubble. So you put the periscope bubble out there and then it burst. So you got to put in a bubble out of there. Like, like lots of, like those little hearts, they go away. So you got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it all the time. Whenever you can think about it, do it because, um, you're going to network and you're going to meet people. So, I mean, there is a, a turn from networking to making money as well. Yeah. You should scope consistently. You should scope all the time, whenever the mood strikes you, because what you need to give to somebody is when it strikes you. Cause you got to remember, you got to do you. Oh, this one is way too long. Let me just tell you that right now. Snake wants to know there's such a thing as too short or too long. I don't really think that there's a such a thing as too short because we're busy. We're in that kind of a thing where people are busy. Uh, I do think that there are ones that are too long, and this one right here is way, way too long. Way too long. So I think the time should go with whatever, however your subject kind of is. I think you should try and stick in the range of, for a scope, like, Five to ten minutes. You should try and stick with with that. So people will watch your replay more. And then that bubble lasts just a little bit longer. And then if you're on catch, it lasts just a little bit longer. And then if you only have five to ten minutes, you're kind of probably going to come on with what you got to talk about. It's kind of going to probably going to be interested. You're going to be focused. And you're going to get it done. And you're going to deliver content and what needs to be delivered. And that's what counts. When you do them all long like this, it kind of... It gets all jumbled and things like that. So you kind of want to treat Periscope like it's a production. Like, treat it like as if it's going to be recorded and played later. And you're going to be an internet sensation from it. <laughs> but don't don't leave the anxiety and fear about that. <laughs> look, look, build it up and tear it back down. How does Catch work? Catch works with Twitter and with Periscope. Because if you didn't know, Twitter and Periscope are one. Well, they're not one. They're the same people. So that's why it's so easily integrated and they work so well together. Um, so um, Catch is part of it as well. So it works very easily. You go to catch.me and you just enter with your Twitter account. And it's going to use your exact same Twitter name and your Periscope name. And it's just going to give you catch.me slash whatever that name is. And all of your Periscopes will stay there forever. And um, But if you do a private Periscope, like if you do, um, Tanisha, if you do like a coaching with somebody one-on-one um, -on -one, and you just invite one person, you make it private, that doesn't go on catch. Like you won't be able to go back and look at that again, you know, but... You know, so you just got to choose before, you know, you scope. Well, I mean, it's always going to be public unless you choose to make it private. Right? And only like a coach that's doing like a, a session on Periscope would make it private because, you know, you don't want anybody else in their session. So catch is, an, is vital. If you're a coach or if you have a business or if you get on here for business, you need to go to catch.me and you need to um, log on with your Twitter and um, it, it does the work for you from there. I don't blab yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Worship Connect. Hi, how are you? Do you blab, Queen? I'll come check you out when I when I get on. I will definitely check you out. Does anybody else on here blab? I, I know it's great. I just I just haven't like um, had time to. Hi, oh, aren't you beautiful? Nice to meet you. We're talking about um, social media marketing, Periscope, 
Uh, right, right now we're kind of talking about catch.me. It's just if you're not on it, you should be on it. It saves your broadcasts, things like that. We're kind of talking about Blab a little bit. I'm not on it. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm not on Blab yet, but I know what Blab is. I know what it's about. I know, like, I'm kind of making a kind of a roadmap of how I'm going to use it. No, I have not scoped yet. Not one day. Oh, I got all these new scopers on here. I, I need you to scope, queen. I promise. When If you scope, I will come. I will give you heart love. I will support you in communicating and keeping the room going. Uh, if I can't catch you live, I will watch your replay. Ah, uh, Miss Tanisha said, thank you for all the followers. I hope you guys got some followers. And, and just, if you probably got followers on this broadcast, they're probably very genuine and sincere because we've been talking about such genuine, sincere stuff. So that's good stuff. You know, this is, this is a good recipe. So I'm glad everybody followed Tanisha. You know, she's doing a good job out there right now. That's really, 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 really good. Let's see who I have on here push my little people. I still got Tanisha. Hi, Kim. Who's Kim? How are you? It's very nice to meet you. Tanisha Queen. Dave. David, you're still here. You said you were leaving. Snake. Snake, snake. Anybody have anything else to talk about? We were talking about how long they should be. They should not be this long at all because nobody's going to want to watch this replay. Who's going to watch this replay? Nobody. Nobody. What do you do? Block them. You just block them. You give them a warning and then you block them. And Coach Lee, I'm glad you're back. Ah, uh, did you know me before? You just you just heard what they said. Ah, uh, David, that's very cool. That's very and that's what um this is for. You think I'm great? There's a there's a million people out there that are phenomenal, and they're on they're on here. Thanks for the encouragement and info, Queen. Let me know. Um, did you guys get my information? If you guys didn't get my information, it is in the very beginning of the replay, like two seconds in. You, oh, you're going to watch my replay, David. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, you can get my, <laughs> you did. You can get my email and you can send me an email, ask me any questions. You know, it, it doesn't have to be all serious. You know, if I know something, I'm going to give you the information or give you whatever referral that I can, you know. Um, so hit me up on a personal note, on a business note, whatever. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you for sticking with me through this long super scope that I should not have done so long. <laughs> I got on here for like trying to do it for five minutes. That's because it's David's fault because he just made me he made me sad. And then he 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 that's a good little plan that you did though, David. You know, make it seem like it's the worst of the worst. It didn't come with that little smooth silver fox look. What? What? That was pretty good. <laughs> you made my day. You made my day. I love gray hair silver hair love 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 it and actually for halloween i'm gonna let everybody that wants to that sees me vote what color i should put in just for halloween i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my purple but um and silver is one of the colors uh, can you imagine me with just all these little silver twists so it'll still be this style and it'll just be a different color so i'm gonna let the people tell me which color i'm gonna be looking so crazy so crazy i bet so the colors are like silver which i hope kind of wins so i'll look super crazy maybe i get some like some crazy contacts or something and really scare the neighborhood children um silver orange I do just like to help people. I really do. I really, really do. I mean, if I could do this for free, I really would. I really would. It's the only time I feel alive is when I'm talking to people. <laughs> silver highlights, yeah? Okay. So we got silver, orange, green, blue, pink, red, and I think green. Maybe even yellow. I think people would make me do yellow just, just to make me look crazy, crazy. But yeah, so I hope people will vote and make me look super crazy so I can take some pictures and post it up for everybody. So I am going to go if there are no other questions. Definitely do scope shorter than this. Think about it as a production already when you go in. Do I write books? I'm writing a book right now. I will have some ebooks available really soon. Um, but a hard copy book is coming next year. I'll be doing uh, an empowerment summit in L.A. I'm a peacock because of the colors. I like that. That's very cool. Um, thank you. I've never been called a peacock. You're a first. <laughs> um, and I'm not offended. <laughs> I'm doing an um, empowerment summit in April of 2016. So if anybody's going to be in the L.A. area at that time, I'd love for you to stop by. Um, right now I have an early bird special on um, tickets on my website right now. And um, 
I hope to meet a lot of people that I haven't been able to meet. I hope to connect with them. I hope to sell my hard copy book at that time. Um, but ebooks will be coming soon on a various of um, topics. You know, probably starting with social media first, just because everybody's kind of interested in it. And just like somebody said earlier, that it has a ne negative, it has a negative um, kind of tone for the. Um, social media when it really shouldn't it's very it's putting the power back in your hands you know youtube you have your own television production company twitter is um, kind of a, a new age one but i see it as like a new age radio station so because you only get little snippets in between but you're like direct marketing to the masses right there at, at live you know and this just takes it a little bit more because it's your face is up there you are a deep thinker and have a lot to share. I am a super deep thinker. I think differently and I think in a different kind of a way. So that's why it makes it really good for me to um, help on a marketing thing and social media. So that's why I'm starting with the social media um, situation just because it's easy and it's just it's just there. What is my book called? The one that I'm writing for 2016? Oh, see, look at that. Look, 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 look. Live TV. Nobody cares that my thing fell. <laughs> just going to put it back up. Uh, my book does not have a title yet. It does not have a title yet, but um, I have a few to ponder. And once I feel a little bit more um, zeroed in or centered with it, I might let um, you guys tell me what you think about the names that I'm thinking about. And you tell me the name, maybe. You know, that might be a little fun. So, anybody got anything else? Anything, anything, anything. So I'll continue, and I'm I'm gonna get off in a minute if nobody types anything. If you're typing something, don't worry. I'm just I'm gonna um, say what the other platforms is. Instagram. So YouTube's your television production company. Twitter is like a new age radio station because you know it's right there to the masses. Instagram is your magazine, so you want to treat it like a magazine. People, when you look at all those pictures, it should look like what you would make your magazine look like for your brand, your product, or your business. And um, I have lots of tips for Instagram. So if you want to get at me about Instagram, please do. Please, please, please do. I'm Leah, the life coach on Instagram. Um, your um, Facebook is like your newsletter. So that's who you, you want to use Facebook like when you're talking to clients already. Updates, news, info. You will help people to discover and operate in their hidden talents. Thank you, Queen. Look, I think you just pegged me. Uh, that's exactly what I want to do. And let me just tell you, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's easy to help people, you know, give them advice, but then they don't really listen to you. But then um, nobody really has money to put it into something that like they can't touch or there's not like a product for them to hold or have or an outcome that could be promised. But it, I definitely like to help people and I definitely want them to get to where they want to get and where they, they, they need to be. And I really love doing it. I really, 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 really do. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Thank you for sticking with me so long. Look, I got five people left. I started with 30. I'm down to five. Still got Tanisha, Queen, David, and um, Designs by Vita. I appreciate you guys sticking in with me. So I know there's only a few of you. If you don't have any more questions about anything, whether it be social media, business, anything, I probably have a nice little outlook on it. And if I don't, I can refer you to somebody that does. So super long scope, don't do them this long. <laughs> Five to 10 minutes, go in. Oh, you're gonna check out the summit? It's real cheap right now. Are you in LA already, Tanisha? I'm back, I just came from another scope and the guy blocked me for disagreeing with it. Oh, tell me about it, Crystal, what happened? What was he talking about? How are you gonna block you for not agreeing? Atlanta is a nice little hot spot too, Tanisha. And I, I know that there's a there's a there's a, a a big woman community out there, a big strong woman community. But I also know that that big strong woman community has um never been to LA. Well, when you're out here, you should check me out. We should meet for lunch or something, have a meeting of the minds. You disagree, and he got mad. Long distance relationships, all of them cheap. Yeah, I would love for you to check me out, Tanisha. Uh, what kind of broadcaster is he? Just his opinion matters. Well, I guess when you have that kind of power, you can do that, but it doesn't make it right. That's so weak. I mean, if you get on here to talk with people, that's what you should do. You should communicate with people. And if his point was so valid, he should have been able to speak it, and um, it should have resonated with people to be the correct answer. You know, nothing is all or nothing or always or 
all encompassing, you know. ATL is big on the seven-figure coaching grind. So are, are there too many coaches where it's, it's saturated and you can't get ahead? So, I mean, if that's the case, you just need, need a niche, which you got a good one. You, you got one that's needed, but somebody might not want to pay for it. You are a glitch one, so I didn't hear you. Oh, I glitched for a second, my bad. I said, so if it's like so many people in Atlanta that are coaches, is it saturated Saturated where you can't get clients? Oh, okay, so you just gotta get your niche in. Your, what you coach about is life-changing, world-changing, but someone may not see it as like they wanna pay for a cheerleader. You know, and that's, I, I don't mean to really reduce you to a cheerleader because you're, you're so more than that. Like I said, you're the one that's gonna, that lesson is what the world needs to, to move ahead. But some people won't see it as important to have someone just cheering them on or uh, teaching them confidence because they don't understand that. If we understood that, we would, we would already, and, tighten our confidence and, and do better so you just find your niche of how you can get in there some way you know because I'm actually a life coach I have a lots of things that um, I'm good at and I can help people with but there's you, you it's hard to put me in a category you know you can't make me like just this one coach you know I, I coach everything and I do a lot of other jobs as well I do a lot of stuff so um, I had to my niche kind of is the social uh, media just because it opens the door for people who don't know social media, the people that do, they're going to give you their comments or they're going to tell you where they are. And it just opens the conversation and then they can get to know me and then see if they can place any value in me. Pray for God to send you people who will truly value what you say. Keep away from wrong clients. I don't have any wrong clients. I mean, like I said, I would do this for free, and that's why I would like to make as much money. I would like to make so much money where I never have to worry about money. I only worry about people. So because... I mean, there are no wrong clients. They just don't know. You can't do better unless you know. And you can only know what you've experienced and what you've been taught and what has influenced you. And people can only operate in what they know at that moment to make their decisions. And what I need to do, even if they're not taking it at that moment, I still need to say what I need to say. Because if it doesn't resonate with them right there in that moment, that's okay. I call it the ripple effect. It's going to ripple in their lives later. And they can... It, it will resonate um, to them when it's appropriate for them. My job is to only just be me and do what feels right to me, when it feels right, how it feels right. As long as I'm not hurting anybody, I do whatever I want, when I want, how I want it. I keep my myself self-contained, but I do it how I want, how I want, which leads me to the people that I need to be with, talking to who I need to talk to, doing what I need to do do you know and this periscope just opened it up so much more because there's so many people going through so much you never know what you're going to say that's going to resonate with somebody and change their life or create that ripple effect so you got to say it to the good clients the bad clients or ugly clients and i don't mean ugly physically i mean like they're they're nasty like they just mm, they got that ugly look on their face because life is just mm, you know but those are the people that need you the most they need you the most and um, you just got to keep doing your part and that's it and I mean I have a little bit of a tough skin because my background is a drug and alcohol counselor so I I could I I had clients that I never got through to you know because as a drug and alcohol counselor you save one person's life one out of ten that's a good that's a good ratio for a drug and alcohol counselor that means nine people OD went back um, just it makes you feel like you didn't do enough and you didn't do it right. So, but I do know that when they're ready, the words that I gave them, the, the, the love that I gave them, they will feel it and they will have it with them. So, I, I said to everyone, all my clients are my good clients. Queen, thank you for that though. I know um, you do have to be like that in business. You do. You have to, you know, not sit there and focus so much and because you'll put you know you'll get paid for one hour but you put 10 hours into it because you're working on it at home in the car thinking about it when you're with your children when you're with your mate you know so you are blessed and it resonates oh thank you Tanisha so are you so are you because if I'm blessed and you resonate within me um, energy recognizes energy and that's why you know we're talking and it's resonating and 
that's good. So you believe that about yourself just as much as me. And if you are blessed, you, you have a responsibility to get on here and speak because there are people that need you. Jamila said, people need me. I think people need you. Suicide, you know, you never know what you could say just to spark somebody, you know, to get them out of their, their, their darkness. And like I said, happiness in life it's all about perspective. And most people's perspective is, is low, wrong, negative, dark. And it's not the reality of their, their real environment, it, or not the totality of their real environment. It is a, a, a portion of it. And they choose to just look there. And they choose to give it stock and not give the other percentage stock and and. Hello, coach, new follower. Hi, wise decisions. I like that. Wise decisions. My name is Leah. I'm a life coach. We were talking about social media, Periscope, Catch. Tanisha on here, she is a confidence coach who deals with um, self-image issues. So we got on that because we had a person on here that had self-image issues and he had a, like a, a picture of an egg on his profile and we all supported him and putting up his picture and he was super handsome I think he was faking because he just wanted all the hype to be when he he put it up you know so we made him feel comfortable enough to put it up there and like we're just now we're just kind of having the after talk of that you know we're proud of him talking about image and you know things like that so wise decision I like your name what what do you do I like the name too, wise decisions. When you make those, you have less regrets. Yeah, yeah. But you really have no regrets because like I said, you're only operating in, in um, the knowledge that you have at that moment for every decision you make at that moment. So you can only operate in that, with that information and what you have available at that time. And I think every time you make a decision, um, you're kind of making a decision that um, you gotta go through and it teaches you things, it shows you things, it shows you what you're made of, it builds character and strength, um, it lets you know things for sure, it um, tosses out your theories, because theories are whack right now, I think the whole world is living off theories and it's getting on my nerves. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, you're encouraging me, so I'm glad you're out here doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm trying to encourage people, I love helping people, and um, it's the only time I feel alive is when I'm helping people and talking to people and, you know, if they're getting stuff out of it. Thank you for the hearts, guys. I, I've been seeing them up there. I've been trying to um, keep focus on um, what the comments that are being said and what I'm saying and then going back to things that, that we're talking about. Because we're, we're talking about such a, a wide array of things. We're talking about social marketing and catch and blab, self-confidence, counseling, all kind of things. Self-worth. Self-worth is so huge. Guys, if you don't have it, get it. Work on it. Look at yourself in the mirror. Find something beautiful about yourself. And throw out other people's preconceived notions of what is beautiful, what is great, what is awesome. Because it's all in perspective. Life is all perspective and decisions. Wise ones if you can. <laughs> and, um, and dumb ones if you can't. You know, because you can only do what you can do. You know, when you, when you make the dumb ones, you, you dust yourself off and get back up as quick as possible. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all a part of life. You got to make mistakes. That's what makes you human. You're going to make mistakes regardless because you are human. Your species is defined by the fact that you make mistakes. So yeah, you're going to make mistakes, lots of them, all the time to the day you die. You're going to say wrong stuff. The point is to go back and fix it. Is to, is to fix it. Go back and fix it. That's what life's really about is fixing all the things that's going on. How good are you? You know? How do you operate? How well do you operate in this environment? Oh, good. You do the selfie challenge, you know? You, maybe you like your hair parted on the other side, you know? I I had parts everywhere in this little thing. <laughs> it, it did make a difference, too, because I was taking selfies. I was like, oh, that's not cute. That's not cute. And I had one straight down the middle. No, that's not me either. Oh, not me either. Oh, yeah, fell forward. I like that. Lay, well, you go ahead, put that on a shirt or something. <laughs> a little hat or something, a little tank top. Fell forward. Make people ask you, what do you mean? <laughs> fell forward. I know what you mean because I had it in context, but you take it out of context, you know. Fell forward. Love that. I wouldn't use that. I got to steal that too. I'm right down there. I stole Tanisha's stuff. Lisa's on record that you, you had it and I stole it. <laughs> Sorry. 
can write it in my book. Which you should have a notebook if you're going to periscope and stuff. It helps. Well, for all right, so we haven't had any more questions. Wise decision, you're new on here. Do you have any um, topics or anything you want to say? You got something to say? She may not even be here anymore, but I appreciate all you guys rocking with me. It was very cool. My first go back in a while that nobody's going to watch the replay of because it's 50 million minutes, hours long. <laughs> But I loved meeting you guys. I loved talking to you guys. I loved all the inspiration. I loved your your breakthrough, David. Just how and how well did it go? And it was a, it was simple. We make in our mind that things are going to be harder than they will that than they will because I read your comment than they are. No, but I'll be listening for you. Oh, I will be listening for you. I follow everybody back on here, and um, I will get around to giving hearts. Everybody on here will have a thousand hearts from me. Aw, oh, thank you, Tanisha. You don't stay away. I'll be looking for you Tuesday. You going on Tuesday or you going on right now? Because I can get off right now and hop on for you, Tanisha, for just a minute. Tanisha, 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 Tanisha. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Tanisha. David, you better come back for Tanisha if she goes on. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Tanisha. Tanisha, you going on right now? You going to dinner? I mean, are you in the car? You know, you sitting in the parking lot? What you doing? You, you going to tell us the restaurant you're going to? Anything. You press broadcast, you know, Type the name of the restaurant. Tell us what you're going to order. What you got. Come on now. And if you're going to dinner, you look nice. You look all pretty. When you looked in the mirror, you walked out the door and you thought, hey, going to dinner. Can we get you on right now? Right now. I'll be on there. Going. Going. My hair. Oh, you're doing your hair. I oh, know you You can't get on when, when we're doing our hair now. Uh, I won't be doing nothing. She's not going to get on, David. You know, there is a limit. You know, we're doing our hair. Yeah, no, we, we ain't going on. <laughs> well, I will be looking for you Tuesday, okay, Tanisha? And definitely do it. Don't, you know, you know, definitely, definitely do it because it ain't nothing to it but to do it. And once you do that first, you're like, what was I doing? What, what was I fretting about? I need to do this step two, step three, step four, and then you'll be on a roll. And you'll be, you'll be, you'll be out of the, out of this park. And um, oh, I'm inspired too. I'm really, really, really inspired. <laughs> Dave is laughing at us. I'm super inspired by you too, Tanisha. So you know, great energies, recognize great energies, wise decisions. I, I can recognize you as well. I feel the energy from all of you guys, um, Queen. Oh my God, the energy is out of this world. You're a little bit OCD. Everybody's a little bit OCD. That's the, um, that's, that's kind of like what we like and how we like things, you know. Our OCD is really our preference. You know, they just gave it that little OCD <laughs> because you can't always have your preference. You know, it's another way of making um, what we think is great not seem like it's great. When if it's not hurting anybody, it's phenomenal. So, everybody's OCD. I'm definitely OCD, too. Everybody. This is a preference. I have to create the Tanisha Creative Space for scoping. Yeah. Definitely. I don't, definitely don't do it when you're not comfortable. You know, I'm not really trying to push you while you're not comfortable, you know. But I just thought because you were going to dinner. So, that was a nice opportunity because, you know, you looked the part. You're probably feeling good. But, girl, I heard you. You're doing your hair. I, I let that go real quick. Because <laughs> you ain't going to get me to do nothing either when I'm doing my hair. <laughs> Whatever. You do a periscope. <laughs> Shit. I got you. I heard you. <laughs> how you periscope? Oh, you just listening to me, huh? I was like, how you doing your hair and periscope? Oh, you just listening. I feel you. I do that all the time. There'd be some great people on here. They're, they'd be great. You know, really, really, really great. Oh, while I'm here, let me tell you who I thought was great. These are people I think it's great. Real quick, real quick. So when I'm gone, check them out. Charlene Johnson. She'll help you get followers. Dana Garrison, help you get followers. Me, Leah, life coach, I'll talk to you about stuff. Um, Jess Carlson, she um, is really great. She does, she reads like um, tarot cards, but she just has a good outlook on life and information that she gives and how she talks to you. And she's the real deal. She's, she's She puts out good stuff. Jamila Corbett, um, that's the one that got me on here. 
lightning and my car is lovely, but I don't want to encourage driving and scoping. Pet peeve. No, don't drive. No, 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 no. When you got to the parking lot, you know, tell us what restaurant you're in and what you think you're going to order and show us that lightning. Hey, that is a show. I love lightning. And I was born in Texas and I miss the lightning. I know people that you never heard somebody say they miss light. Well, I guess people do like lightning. Um, I miss lightning. When I'm here in Cali and it, 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 we have the little lightning storms, I'm like a little piddly lightning. Sometimes it gets a little, I'm like, hey, Cali, she's going to show up. But most of the time, you know, ain't no lightning like Texas lightning. I've never been to Atlanta, but I'm sure they got they got a force to be reckoned with. See, I would watch that, and while you when you get to the parking lot, I would I would watch that, you know, for a couple of minutes, tune in, and then whatever you're saying, if it was great, you know, I'd stay tuned in, and I think that would go for anybody. So if you want to do that, I'm here, I'm here, I will be on, and I would love to be a part of your first scope. You're coming to LA? Come on, girl, come on, girl. I'm building my little empire out here. And um, need some associates and partners and, and just everything. Good vibe people, you know. You come, you can come and connect with people and do things. And, uh, and then when I go to Atlanta, we can connect and do things. That's how you do it. This is what Periscope's about. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Um, Jamila Corbett is the one that um, every time I got on, she's like, oh, when I first got on, like, we, I, I would watch her scopes. She'd watch my, watch my scopes, and then I haven't been on her a while. So every time I get on, when I was taking my break, I would only find her. I couldn't find any of the other people I knew. Not like she's not great. She's super great. Um, but she would always tell me things to do. She always had something to say. <laughs> uh, well, you need. She did this one about quit your nine to five. You know, when it's time, when you know you trying to quit your nine to five and I didn't quit my nine to five because I, I have various jobs and, and including my own and you know not a nine to five because I don't get down like that but I do work for someone else as well and I didn't exactly quit the job but I mentally emotionally and like just prepared and just put my energy into my business instead of their business a little bit more and that's why I wasn't on Periscope for a while but Jamila Corbett is great check her out I will show how to spell their names real quick Okay, Charlene Johnson, Dana Garrison, them two are like good for um, getting followers on Periscope. So if somebody said that they're waiting to get followers, you can get them here and then you can do your scope. So problem solved, uh, although I don't advise you to wait, but you know, everybody has to do it how they want to do it. Leela Life Coach, that's me. Hey, Leela Life Coach, hey. Look, I added that in in blue pen. I was trying to be funny. It's not really one of my recommendations, although I recommend me. Jess Carlson, that's the one I was talking to you about. She's great. Um, Jamila Corbett, she has great energy. I love her. I'm, I'm going to get out of here, so I'm just going to show where I'm at. So this is one of my Periscope tips if you don't have a business card. Actually, I think you should put a business card um, just because, you know, it shows everything. I think you should do this in the first five seconds of your scope so nobody has to watch your whole replay to get your contact information. And uh, if you don't have a business card or something, you're so welcome, wise decisions. Thank you for jumping in. If you don't have a business card, just write it down. Who cares? So that's my Instagram and Facebook name, Leah the Life Coach. That's my website. That's my email. There's my Twitter and my Periscope handle and my catch.me handle. Um, there's my Tumblr. There's my Pinterest name. And there's my little sign off to you guys. I look forward to connecting with you all of you heart 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 we are the life coach so i'm going to sign off thank you guys i hope you guys have an amazing day that is my the sound that that makes is my little holder that does not hold up my phone that fell like 10 times but that's the sound that it makes I hope you guys have an amazing day. I see some new pe people. Hi, Arthur, Laura Johnson. How are you? I didn't get to talk to you. I don't want to leave before talking to you. How are you? Are you on Periscope for um, business or personal? Arthur, Laura. Are you a writer? Is that why you're Arthur, Laura? Or is that actually your name? You never know. So maybe you're typing. Um, it's very nice to meet you. If you're not typing, I am going to get off soon anyway, but if you are typing, I'm just stalling until I can see your comment, and, and then I'll exit on out. Thank you for the hearts, green, blue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. Oh, red hearts, hey. Hey. All right, maybe Laura is um, shy, or maybe she's actually out now. I just didn't want her to, like, hop on, and then I hopped off, you know? 
You never know because if she was sent here, you know, maybe we have something to exchange with each other. Everyone has lessons and blessings with, to share with each other, so don't you ever forget it. From the homeless man on the corner to the rich king in the castle. Thank you, social butterflies. You're the best. You rock. Love you, love you, love you. Have a good day, guys.